Hello guys, I'm Bethany and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a book recommendations video slash TBR video. Honestly, this started as being a TBR video and then I was thinking about it and I had some recommendations. So we're gonna make it both. So it is almost spring, which is so exciting. I love spring. I feel like fall is my favorite season, but I just love spring. It's getting warmer outside. The flowers are blooming and it's just so beautiful. So I thought I would do spring book recommendations, spring TBR. I feel like most of these books are just books I wanna read this spring, but I have a few that I would recommend to read in the spring. I feel like a lot of books, most books, with this vibe take place in the summer, so there'd be more summer book recommendations, but I tried to find some that take place in the spring or kind of give spring vibes or about new beginnings. You know what I mean? So I have a few of those and then I have a lot of books on my spring TBR, most of them being new releases that come out in the spring, which I'm so excited about. So let's just hop right in. So first, I'm just gonna go through spring book recommendations first. No one's surprised, Practicing's Perfect by Sarah Adams. I have a bookmark in it because I'm currently rereading it. I'm like over halfway through my reread for the third time. I listened to it a little bit on audio and then I just picked it up to read because I love this book so much. It's the second book after Win in Rome and it follows Annie and Will. Annie is a flower shop owner and Will is a bodyguard. And it's just so sweet and cute. And I love this book so much. Like it's a comfort read for sure. And I just pick it up when I want to feel happy. And the main characters, I just love them. I feel very much relate to Annie and Will is just a sweetheart and I feel like their dynamic is just so good and the small town is so good. When in Rome, I do recommend reading first, but this is my favorite in the series so far and I love it. So we all know I talk about this book all the time and it is closed door. So highly recommend. Obviously you can tell it's giving spring. It might take place in the summer, honestly, but it just gives me spring vibes. You know what I mean? Next is In the Weeds by BK Borison. Every book in this series takes place in a different season. So this book takes place in spring. It's a Love Light series and I love this book. I think it's my favorite in the series. Well, Business Casual, the fall one hasn't come out yet, but so far this is my favorite in the series and it follows Evie or Evelyn and Beckett, who like works at the Christmas tree farm that's in Love Light Farms. Evelyn is a like famous celebrity or like influencer and she, they have like an encounter and then they see each other again in Love Light Farms kind of that situation a little bit. I love this book. It was so cute. It does have spice in it and I just thought it was so good. It's a grumpy farmer and a no-nonsense social media influencer have another chance at love in this charming romantic comedy. So he's a little grumpy but I feel like it's more because of... I feel like he's just kind of a shyer guy and they're just so cute. So I love this book and it's perfect for spring. Obviously it takes place in the spring and I just love the series. So highly recommend this book if you're wanting spring vibes. This is so good, small town. And Beckett, I love him, so, so good. Next is Ready or Not by Cara Bastone. This cover is just giving spring. Basically, this is a accidental pregnancy trope, which some people don't like that trope. I personally love it. And this is like probably my favorite accidental pregnancy trope that I've ever read. So it's about Eve and she has a one night stand and gets pregnant. And then you're just kind of following her pregnancy. It's like a diary of her pregnancy. And there's a romance and it's so good. I feel like the writing in this, the story, the way that it was written is just so good and the moment character is so sweet. And it obviously takes place over nine months, but it's giving spring on the cover. And I just feel like it like gives like new beginnings. It's so sweet. And I feel like I just loved everything about this book. It was so good. And I feel like it's a book I will think about for a very long time. So highly recommend this if you're looking for a sweet book to read this spring. It's not like full romance. Like I feel like the romance is more of a subplot, but this book is just so good and the cover is everything. So highly recommend. Next is Picking Daisies on Sundays by Leanna. I don't know how to say her last name, but this is a cute little rom-com that takes place in New York City. So the female main character is basically in love with her best friend. Something happens in high school. They don't see each other for four years and then see each other in New York. And they're both in college about to graduate. I think this takes place literally like April, May. I don't really know, but they fake date and you're just following them. And it's just a cute, good time. There's no spice in this. There's like one scene, I think, in Ready or not, not a ton of spice. But anyways, this is just a cute rom-com. So much fun. I feel like you're just gonna have a blast reading this. It's really sweet, wholesome. And I love the New York City setting. The female main character is in fashion. That's what she's going to school for. So I really love that. And I just highly recommend that book. Next, I had to include this book, this technically. Well, it might take place in the spring. I don't think it does. It's kind of over a period of time. And I think most of it takes place in the summer. Anyways, it's my best friend's book that comes out 
March 19th, which should be <laughs> passed by the time this video goes up because I'm filming it like a week in advance. Right now when I'm filming this, it comes out in a week and I am so excited because Ali sent me like a proof copy of it and it's just so beautiful. Like you need to read this book. It is a second chance romance following Stella and Bridger and it's like alternating timelines between past and present and takes place in high school when they met, fell in love, and then in the now timeline where they're in college. And it is so good. This is more of an emotional romance. And I would check the trigger warnings that are in the front of the book or like the content warnings that, that are in the front of the book before you read it. But this book is one of my favorite romances of all time. I'm so proud of Allie because she put her heart and soul in this book. And I feel like it's just going to help and like give people hope. I don't know, it's just so good. If you need to read this book, I'm telling you, I will shove this in your hands. Just go read it, it's incredible. The writing is insane. I feel like Jess Hastings writing, Emily Henry's writing. I feel like you will love her writing and it's probably gonna wreck you, but it's so good so good so anyways those are all the books that i own that i recommend and now getting into a few books that i don't own so first is i can fix that by juliana smith this is her first book and one of my favorites i love it so much it's about this girl who has this house that she needs renovated and she has this contractor renovated into romance between them and it's so good i feel like this just the cover i feel like is giving spring and this just gives me spring vibes and i just love it so much it's closed door oh also more than just us is closed door as well and i just love this book it's a cute rom-com and I just love Julianne's books so highly recommend and then Speechless by Lindsay Lanza this I don't know when it takes place but it kind of gives me spring vibes like I feel like you could read this on spring break and it would be such a good read so it's basically about this girl who is an author and she is on her way like on a plane flying to LA to live with her best friend and her best friend like while she's on the plane her best friend's like sorry you can't live with me anymore and she ends up sitting with this composer that she's like a fan of and he's like, oh, you can just come live with me and my buddies and like just <laughs> live with us. And they have a house in Malibu and it's just giving this fun like spring summer vibes. And I love this book. So highly recommend so much fun and the romance is just so good. So love that. And then lastly is The Two of Us by Taylor Torres. This is another more emotional romance, second chance, Childhood Friends to Lovers. And I just love this book. And this is also her debut novel and it is so good. Like one of my favorite second chance romances, it's so good. And also Speechless by Lindsay Lanza was her debut novel and both of these are so good. I highly recommend them. This is definitely if you want more of an emotional romance, but it's that if you like every summer after love in other words, you will like this. So highly recommend. Now I have talked a lot about those. So let's do some of the books that are on my spring TBR. Most of these are new releases, but I have a few that I own. Oh wait, hold on. One other book I wanted to recommend that I forgot is Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. I just finished this yesterday and I thought it was so good. I do think it takes place in the summer, but I feel like it's just a fun time any time of year. It is a cowboy romance and it follows Emmy and Luke and Emmy is from this small town Meadowlark and she lives on this ranch but she moves away for a long time to ride horses and whatnot <laughs> and she moves back and when she's there she runs into her brother's best friend. It's the romance between them and it's so good. It's just so fun. I feel like it's such a quick read, a comfort read. One of those books that's just gonna be a grand old time. The romance is so good. It is a bit spicy but I feel like you could skip the spicy chapters very easily and you're just gonna get a wholesome rom-com you know what I mean like some spicy books I feel like you if you skip the spice you're still getting like inappropriate language I don't feel like that's the case with this book so loved it so much fun highly recommend now I have a few books that I want to read the spring I have a few that I own most of them are new releases so let's get into it first might as well show this because I just showed done and dusted I just went and bought this today because I love done and dusted so much and my library did not have swift and saddled yet so this is the second book it's called swift and saddled by Lila Sage and it is a city girl country boy romance and I'm so excited it's less than 300 pages Honestly, probably gonna binge this today and tomorrow because I'm so excited and it just came out last week. So this is definitely my spring TBR. Plan to read it. Like by the time this video is up, I'll have already read this book. And it'll probably be my March wrap up. This is a cowboy romance. And I'm so excited. Interconnect standalones with Done and Dusted. I feel like it's just gonna be so good. So very excited for that. Next is Girl Abroad by L. Kennedy. This came out in February and it's about what's her name? Abby. And she is the daughter of like a famous rock star. And she goes to London to study abroad for a year. And when she gets there, she realizes her roommates are all guys. And you're just following her 
in London as she does her thing. There's a love triangle. And I'm like 60 pages in, I think. I read a little bit of it, but I haven't finished it. Yeah, I'm on page 61. But I feel like I'm going to listen to this on audio because there's a few accents, like obviously British accents. And then I think one character's from Australia. And I just love listening to that. So I'll probably listen to this on audio, but I really want to read this in the spring. I want to get to it because it just sounds really good. I feel like it'll be fun. Next, I have another book by L. Kennedy, which is The Grime Effect. I bought this in January and I've been waiting to read it till after I read the Bar You series, which I just finished last week. So now it's time to read The Grime Effect. I'm so excited. This is about Garrett and Hannah's daughter and they are the characters in the first book of the Off Campus series and the Bar You series is a spinoff of that series. And this is a spinoff kind of of those series. So it's a hockey romance and I just feel like it's gonna be so good. <laughs> like I'm so excited. I don't know anything about it and I don't wanna know anything about it. I just wanna go in blind and I feel like I'm just gonna have great grand old time. I love El Kennedy's books. I loved the Off Campus series and the Bar You series. So very excited. And the second one of these, this book, comes out soonish, like in May, I think. I don't really know, but very excited for that. Next is All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata. This is my first Mariana Zapata book. I saw it at my bookstore like opening here where I live. And I was like, this sounds so good. I've seen so many good reviews of this book and it's basically a small town single dad trope. This girl moves back to her hometown in Colorado and meets this grumpy guy that lives next to her, has a son. And it just sounds so good. I feel like I'm gonna really love this. And I've heard Mariana Spada's books are so good. She's like the slow burn queen. And I don't mind a long romance. Obviously the Graham effect is very long. I am just very excited. I feel like I'm gonna love this. I love a single dad trope. And I'm very excited to see what I think about Mariana Zapata. So that is the last book I think that I own that I wanna read this spring. But I have one book that I don't own that I wanna read, which is The Idea of You by, I do not know who but I just watched the trailer of this movie that comes out in May a few days ago and it looks so good. So I wanna read it before the movie comes out. It is a celebrity romance and it's about this woman who, I think she's like in her 30s, she has a daughter and she takes her daughter to see this like pop band, like a boy band. And she ends up with one of the guys in the boy band. I don't know, it sounds really good. And the trailer looked so good. So I wanna read this. It's on Kindle Unlimited, so I want to read it before May. So, okay, now it's time for all of the new releases that I'm excited for in March and April, maybe a couple in May. I have so many, so buckle up. Honestly, also a lot of these I don't know much about because I like to go in blind, especially with new releases. So, don't know much about them, but these are the books I'm gonna read that are new releases that come out in the next couple months. So, first is Happily Never After by Lynn Painter. This is Lynn Painter's new adult romance. I love her books and I love her adult romances. I love The Love Wager. It's probably my favorite by her and I'm so excited for this one. It's basically about this girl who is getting married, but she like doesn't want to marry this guy. And so she hires an objector to like object the wedding and then she ends up working with the objector and then it's about them. It's gonna be so good. I have such a good feeling and one of my friends already read it and loved it. So I feel like I'm going to love it. So I'm very excited for this. Next is Taming Seven by Chloe Walsh. This is the next book in the Boys of Tommen series. I am so excited for this book. I know it's going to be brutal. I know it's going to wreck me, but I'm, it's okay. <laughs> I'm okay. It's gonna be okay. This follows Claire and Gibsey and I think it's gonna be so good. Like I just know it's gonna be good. <laughs> it's gonna be good. I have seen that it's only like 400 pages, 407 pages, which if you read the Boards of Tommen series, you know that they're very long, like Finding Keeping 13 or both, over 600 pages, like very tiny font. Same with Saving and Redeeming Six. So this is only one book and it's pretty short. So I'm like, I don't know, but I'm so excited for this book. I'm scared, but I'm so excited for it to come out. It comes out in April, I think. Hopefully I'll put the date on the screen when these books come out. Future Bethany, you should do that. <laughs> Next is obviously Funny Story by Emily Henry. I am so excited for this book. Obviously, everyone loves Emily Henry. I am so excited for her new release. I've heard great reviews about this book and I've been trying to avoid like the summary or mini details because I like to go in blind and I'm very excited for this book. I All I know, I think they like their exes dated each other. I don't know, but <laughs> the cover's so cute. I love Emily Henry's books. I love her writing and I'm so excited for this one. So Next is The Quit List by Katie Bailey. This is one of my favorite clothes door authors and I also don't know anything about this book. I don't think the blurb has come out for this book yet, but I'm very excited. I love her books. I'm pretty sure this character might have been in Season Schemings. I'm excited. I feel like it's gonna be really good. I love her books, so I'm very excited for that. Next is Betrothal or Breakaway by Leah Brunner. This is the next book in the, I don't know what the series is called, but it's After Desire or Defense and Flirtation or Face Off, which I love those books. Closed Door, Hockey Romances, and this I think is a like Marriage of Convenience trope and I'm so excited. It's also closed door and I just feel like it's gonna be so good and it comes out like beginning of April. I feel like it's just gonna be so good. I love Leigh Brunner's books, especially like hockey romance. I just eat it up every time. Next is Buddy's My Fake Fiance by Anna Conwell. This is the third book in the Carter Brothers series. 
also closed door and this is after but he's my grumpy neighbor and but he's my one regret which i read in march so i haven't talked about them really because i haven't done my wrap up but i loved them they're so good and i'm very excited for this one because grayson is like giving golden retriever vibes but i feel like we're gonna learn so much about him in this book and it's also a fake marriage so or no not a fake marriage a fake engagement <laughs> obviously by the title cannot wait for this book it's gonna be so good cannot wait to get more of grayson see the characters from the previous books can't wait so excited next is wild love by elsie silver this is a new series by Elsie Silver, which honestly, I'm a little, I'm not sure. I loved the first three books in the Chestnut Spring series, but the last two, like, didn't really, didn't really love them. But I really want to read her new release because I feel like it sounds really good. It's like a cowboy-esque vibe. So I want to give it a try, but I feel like her books are so spicy and sometimes it's not really worth it. So we'll see, but I am very excited for this release. I'm going to read it. It's probably going to be on KU and the cover's really cute. So if you follow me for Closed Door Rex, just skip on by this one because it's super spicy, but I just love the cowboy vibes of this and I just try to skip the spice. So we'll see if I enjoy this. I really hope I do because Powerless by her is so good. I feel like the emotional depth in Jasper, I just loved him. And then it just kind of went downhill with the rest of the series for me. So I'm hoping I like this book. It comes out in April as well. So, and then I have a few, I think all these come out in May. First is The Summer Will Be Different by Carly Fortune. This is the same author of Every Summer After and Meet Me at the Lake, which I loved Every Summer After. Did not love Meet Me at the Lake. I did a reading vlog for it, but I just was kind of disappointed by it. There was one trope I didn't really love. And I just didn't really feel connected to the characters, but I I really am hoping that this will redeem Carly Fortune for me because I love Every Summer After. I love her summer books. I feel like you just feel so immersed in her writing. So I really hope I like this. I don't really know much about it. I don't know if I'll buy it, but I'm probably gonna borrow it from the library or something like that. Watch me buy it. Let's be honest, but I do like the cover, <laughs> but I'm worried that I'm not gonna like it, but I hope I do. So it's on the list. Next is Mistakes We Never Made by Hannah Brown. If you watch The Bachelor, or The Bachelorette, you know Hannah Brown was on The Bachelorette. She was The Bachelor and she wrote a fiction book. I read her nonfiction book and this is her fiction debut and it's a romance and it's a road trip romance, which sounds really good. So I'm very intrigued to see if I like this book. I feel like the cover is so cute. So I'm hopeful that I will enjoy it. And I'm very curious to see how she writes fiction books. So future by the year, forgot to mention a couple books on my spring TBR. So I'm just gonna include this clip. Who surprises happens like every video that I film. But first, Fragile Sanctuary by Catherine Cowles comes out in May, I want to say. And I'm so excited about this book. I could not believe that I forgot to mention it because I'm so excited. It's a romantic suspense. She wrote the Lost and Found series that I've read and really, really loved. The male main character from Fragile Sanctuary, you saw him in Ashes of You. And I'm so excited for his book. So that comes out in May. Cannot wait. And then also Powerful by Lauren Roberts, which is a novella in the Powerless trilogy. It takes place during Powerless and it's about Peyton's best friend. You're following her and it comes out in April, but it comes out different dates in the UK versus the US. So I think it is out a little bit earlier in the UK and then comes out like late April in the US. So anyways, so excited for that as well. Anyways, just wanted to throw that in there. Forgot these two books and I'm very excited about them. So those are also on my spring TBR new releases list. Those are all the books <laughs> that are on my spring TBR, all the books that I want to read this spring, spring book recs. Hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I've been talking for so long, but I love spring. I'm very excited for all the books to come out. I feel like spring is like prime release time for authors. I feel like everyone comes out with books in April, which is so fun. April's like one of my favorite months. I love April. So I'm so excited for all these books to come out, all the books to read, and I'm just just very excited for the months to come. It's gonna be so fun. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any spring book recs, what's on your spring TBR, I would love to know. But I think that's it, and I'll see you very soon for my next video. Bye.